At first glance, the naked bull rat is a truly bizarre creature. But when you see them in motion... There is inner beauty in them. Uh, they're actually extremely active. So when you observe a colony of naked mole rats, uh, they're moving around, they're always interacting with each other, moving their food around or cleaning their chambers. They're just uh, very elegant, very functional creatures. Dr. Vigor Gorbanova and Dr. Andrei Sulanov are biologists and researchers at the University of Rochester. Their subjects are not your average lab rats. This is the only true eusocial mammal, meaning they live in large colonies with one breeding queen, uh, and she mates with uh, one or two favorite males, and then the rest of the colonies are soldiers, nannies, cleaners. Kind of like a colony of bees or ants. Yet these unique adaptations are relatively superficial to Dr. Kobanova and Selyonov, whose research focuses on the biology of aging. For a mouse, maximum lifespan is four years, but very few mice live that long. Naked mole rat is the longest li living rodent. Their maximum lifespan is 32 years. That's right. This little fellow was skittering through a network of tunnels before YouTube was even created. If you are a naked mole rat, you live underground in a very protected environment. Predators cannot easily get to you. So then for them, it makes a lot of sense to live longer and reproduce longer. Not only they live so long, they don't get sicker as they get older. They remain active almost to the very end. They also don't get cancer. And as any biologist might wonder... Why? I mean, we thought, well, maybe by looking at the cells, we will get some clues. Human cells or mouse cells, when they grow in a petri dish, uh, they will grow close together. So naked morat cells never grew close enough, so we figure out Naked mole cells are claustrophobic. They don't like to be very close to their neighbors. All cells have some sort of contact inhibition, which means once they are in contact, they no longer proliferate. Uh, and cancer cells lose it, so this is why they continue dividing and making tumors. Uh, but naked mole cells were hypersensitive to contact inhibition, and this is when we noticed that the media in the culture dish was becoming very viscous, gooey. The goo turned out to be a polysaccharide molecule known as hyaluronin, which fills the space between our cells in a sort of elastic liquid scaffolding. So the skin of naked morats is very elastic, it's very stretchy, because like this viscous molecule is what adds elasticity to the skin. Uh, and what's remarkable about naked morat is that their hyaluronin uh, is very long. So human and mouse polysaccharide is relatively short, and naked morat polysaccharide is six to ten times longer. And that was uh, really a moment of clarity. We thought, well, this must have something to do with the cancer resistance. To test this hypothesis, they genetically engineered naked mole rat cells that couldn't produce hyaluronin. All of a sudden, the cells lost their claustrophobia, and when they fed those cells cancer-causing proteins, voila. They were forming tumors. So this really proved that hyaluronin is the key for cancer resistance. Even after such a dramatic breakthrough, Dr. Gorbanova and Selyonov continue to dig deeper. Most recently, they found that naked mole rats make significantly less mistakes when creating proteins than mice or humans. In turn, the mole rats avoid degenerative diseases caused by faulty proteins accumulating in their cells. Every process we look at, we find something interesting. There are many things we would like to do in the future. First, we'll start with mice, with naked mole gene for making hyaluronin, and we want to see if this mouse will be more resistant to cancer, if it will live longer. That potentially can be translatable to help human health. So we are interested in studying such odd creatures because uh, I strongly believe that there is a lot we can learn from them. For Science Friday, I'm Luke Groskin.